if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe immediately and even share it with your family and friends and don't forget to like it cancer here's your prediction for october 2024 happy october cancer this month brings a giant shift from pluto plus another eclipse and spooky scorpio season during september venus moved into your sexy fifth house blessing your love life there was also a lunar eclipse that may have brought an unexpected interest, whether in the form of a romantic partner or creative hobby. On Wednesday, October 2nd, the aforementioned second eclipse occurs. This one is a new moon and solar eclipse. While lunar eclipses, like the one last month, are associated with endings, solar eclipses often coincide with beginnings. Since this one occurs in your cozy fourth house, it indicates a change regarding how you relax. Many cancers may feel called to make over their living space. Feeling comfortable in your living space is really important for the well-being of a cancer. If you have a roommate situation that's not working, or even a mattress that's officially too uncomfortable to sleep on, go ahead and make the adjustments necessary to ensure that you're comfortable at home. Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, goes retrograde starting on Wednesday, October 9th, in your heady 12th house. Jupiter's backward dance will last through February of 2025. This retrograde isn't noticeably disruptive like Mercury's, but, between now and February, you will undergo a spiritual shift. If that's part of your life that you've been ignoring, doing so may become impossible. Messages appear in dreams. Tarot readings become spookily accurate. It's best if you let this happen rather than try to resist. Right after Jupiter goes retrograde, transformative Pluto goes direct in your 7th house of partnership on Friday, October 11th. With Pluto direct in your 7th house, your love life should even out. If you've been on a string of bad dates or bickering with your significant other, expect some joy and good luck. Pluto is currently revisiting Capricorn, it first moved into the sign in 2008, for the last time before getting cozy in Aquarius, where it will stay until 2043. This marks a global shift that indicates the world will become more about the community than individuals. On a personal level, think back to what was going on in your life in 2008, if you were old enough for it to matter. The chapter that began 16 years ago is coming to a close, and something new and exciting is taking its place. Pluto's brief dip back into Capricorn is a chance to say goodbye to all that. Looking back to more minute planetary shifts this month, on Sunday, October 13th, the Divine Messenger Mercury shifts into sexy Scorpio, lighting up your pleasurable fifth house. This is an erotic transit, Cancer. If you're dating or hooking up with someone, you'll find yourself coming out of your crab shell, curious to explore new kinks, especially dirty talk. However, considering that shortly after, on Thursday, October 17th, the lover planet Venus moves into your sixth house of health, you'll also be very aware of what's working for you in your love life and what's not. If you're only lukewarm about a partner, Mercury in Scorpio may actually give you the strength to part ways and find someone who actually inspires you to come up with erotic poetry. Also on Thursday, October 17th, the sky lights up with an Aries full moon that affects your 10th house of social status. Full moons are times of results and culmination. In addition to gaining clarity on your love life, while we can't promise anything in this job market, this date could see you hearing about a professional opportunity, so keep your eyes on your inbox. The sun moves into Scorpio, kicking off spooky Scorpio season, on Tuesday, October 22nd, indicating that Halloween approaches. Browse some costume ideas here. For the next few weeks, the sun is in your fifth house, which rules earthly pleasures. This could mean orgasms, a surge of creativity, or even, fingers crossed, financial abundance. The new moon and solar eclipse of October will impact your fourth house this month, Cancer. The fourth house is about our families, chosen and otherwise, and our home environments, so prepare to hunker down and really make your place a home, whether that's spiritually or physically. That's not all, if there is a special somebody on the scene, Mercury will enter Scorpio on October 13th for Cancer, which will activate your fifth house of romance, so prepare to express yourself and explore your deepest and darkest desires. Finally, 
October comes to a close with Vesta, the asteroid of erotic spirituality, moving into your fourth house of home and family on Saturday, October 26. Vesta is all about the merging of the sacred and the profane. Continuing themes from the rest of this month, it indicates that not only clarity but divinity will infuse your love life. It's okay to feel a little woo-woo this month, Cancer. We'll see you in November. Subscribe to Highest Good. Thanks for watching. To get your daily prediction updates from our team of psychics, subscribe to Highest Good and click on the bell notification and never miss a prediction.